everybody, I'm Molly Stanberry and you're watching MacMost, the video podcast that shows you how to get the most from your Mac, iPod, Apple TV, and iPhone. Did you buy an Apple TV but found yourself going back to your computer for those funny YouTube videos of crazy baseball managers? Soon you won't have to leave the Barco Lounger to enjoy YouTube. Apple announced an update to the Apple TV that will include direct access to YouTube videos by the end of the month. Speaking of the end of the month, grab your tents and your sleeping bags, folks. The line has begun. Apple and AT&T have announced a date. The iPhone will be hitting AT&T and Apple stores on Friday, June 29th, just in time for you to show it off at your July 4th family reunion. Did you see the new commercial, by the way? So, say you're a giant squid monster, hell-bent on the destruction of mankind. Where could you go to start your rampage of destruction? A seafood restaurant, where people are eating your babies is a good place. Here's one right by the water. I don't get it. In case you didn't notice, Apple did make their May deadline for DRM-free music, but just barely. They stuck the buck twenty-nine iTunes Plus downloads in with the latest iTunes update. While not all of the music in the iTunes Store is available as an iTunes Plus download, we were pleasantly surprised at how many of our favorite songs were available. Finally, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates made news last week by sitting down together for an interview at the D All Things Digital Conference. The big news is that they did not kill each other. In fact, it was downright cordial. Next thing I knew, Steve called me up and said, don't worry about that negotiation with Gil Emilio. Uh, uh, you can just talk to me now. And I said, wow. <laughs> Gil, Gil was a nice guy, but he had a saying. He said, um, Apple is like a ship with a hole in the bottom, leaking water. And my job is to get the ship pointed in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, these guys will be exchanging Christmas cards and presents. The Apple desktop background is pretty cool, but it can get old after a while. Changing the background to a folder of photos is quite easy. First, make a folder with some photos you like somewhere on your computer. I put together some pictures um, in my picture folder. After you've got a folder of photos, go to System Preferences under the Apple menu and choose Desktop and Screensaver. Next, select Choose Folder from the menu. Then navigate to the folder you just created. Once you've chosen the folder, you can select how often you want the pictures to change. Close the Desktop and Screensaver Preferences box and you've got a shiny new personalized desktop. Go to the MacMost.com website to view our latest video tutorial, How to Download and Install Applications. If you have a question that you would like us to answer on air, simply email us at questions at MacMost.com. This week, Jay takes a look at the G-RAID 2 external hard drive from GTEC. Hi, I'm Jay from MacMost, and I'm the video producer and editor for our video podcast here at Clever Media TV. Today I want to talk about the G-RAID 2 external hard drive from GTEC. This is a uh, RAID drive, which uh, stands for Redundant Array of Independent or Inexpensive Disk. And what that means is it actually has two hard drives in there to speed it up because it writes half the data to one hard drive and half the data to the other hard drive. So it's acting in parallel, which speeds things up. And um, speed is very important if you're doing video editing. And things that you're looking for in a video editing deck or for audio recording or for perhaps uh, advanced Photoshop use is a, a speedy disk drive. And things that you look for is, a, is it a 7200 RPM drive? And is it a SATA drive? And what kind of interface does it have? The, these are two 7200 RPM SATA drives and it has three interfaces on the back. You can hook this up via Firewire 400 FireWire 800 or USB 2. All of these are very fast interfaces and will allow you to do video editing uh, and um, image processing. It's a great drive, it's quiet, it's fast, and it's not all that expensive, and it's well built. 
I highly recommend the G-Ray 2 from G-Tech Company. If you have an Apple-related product you'd like us to review, email us at podcast at macmost.com. Who says girls can't be geeks too? And proud of it. This week's podcast speak is from our sister and our sister podcast, Geek Girl. Host Eve Park shares snippets from her very geeky life. Hey, B. Hey, Tracy. What should we do today? Let's watch this hip TV show with girls like you and me. It's <laughs> Vision for the computer savvy. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek Girl TV. My theme song was written and produced by The Days, which you can check out at myspace.com slash the days girls. MacMost Loot is our contest segment where we come up with an Apple related question or challenge and send a randomly drawn winner a prize. Last week we asked how many children does Steve Jobs have? The answer is that Steve is the father of four. This week's challenge is, when did the first Apple store, or stores, open and where? Send your answers to loot at macmost.com. Thanks for watching the MacMost video podcast. If you want to contact us or would like to sponsor an episode of MacMost, you can email us at podcast at macmost.com. Be sure to visit our website for the latest news and to vote on the stories that you think are the most interesting. We post tutorials and tips to our site throughout the week, where you can also subscribe to the show. You can also subscribe to us using iTunes, so tell your friends and don't be shy, leave us a review. This is Molly Stanbury for MacMost. I'll see you next week. Jay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I just caught it in. <laughs> this week, Jay! <laughs> Sorry. Struck me as humor. All right. <laughs> <laughs>